All right. Shalom Israel. Shalom Yasharallah. First and foremost, Koholayamla. Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash. Double honors to our elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akiu out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and a strong Shalawam to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Yahai is from Yahawada. Amoth Yahai is from Yahawada. Coming at y'all with another beautiful lesson out here on the highways and the byways, as you can see. Another, you know, uh, God given day to push the word, prophesy warn and teach Israel man you know to uh to condemn this wicked abominable queendom man and before I get started in this beautiful lesson that I put together for y'all and I hope and I pray that you're edified off of this lesson I just want to sincerely with all truth and sincerity I want to apologize to my elders and my elder apostles of GMS uh, for something that I did uh, that was out of order that I didn't know about but now I know and I just hope that you brothers forgive me for what I did I sincerely apologize for what I did so now that we got got that out the way and I want y'all to see my face with me saying that too man I want y'all to see my face with me apologizing about that matter but uh, now that we didn't got that out the way let's go ahead and uh, continue to warn edify and prophesy to the hopeful elect man uh, it's like and prophesy about the downfall of this queen man but um I put a, a lesson together for y'all, man. Uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. I pray this is edifying. So let's go ahead and get it, man. Let me stop running my mouth. Let me stop talking. I'm doing too much talking. Let me stop talking. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors, man. And that's right, man. And only righteous men standing in great boldness right now is the hopeful elect, man. That remnant that's coming back to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. We out here reading this uh, this damn devil, his arrest warrant, man. We out here telling this devil what it is, man. His punishment, you know, his judgment. That's about to, uh, you know, uh, be brought forth from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. You know? And we have all, we, we, out, here, we out here, man. <laughs> we out here like lions, man. We out here like lions, man, standing, standing in great boldness, man, ruining our enemies, man. You know, like I said, reading these cave monkeys and these heathens, they arrest warrant, man. You know, telling them, they're, telling them their crimes, man. You know? So let's keep on going. Let's go to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3, straight to the point. Therefore, Salakia, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Man, and we endure, man. You know, the hopeful elect, man, we endure, man. We endure all the affliction, all the trials and tribulations, everything that's brought upon us, man. Because, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not going to hand us the kingdom, man. He's not going to say, oh, well, you didn't read a few scriptures, you didn't, you didn't put up a few lessons. You didn't uh, put up a few scriptures on the, uh, the live stream of the comment board. Here goes the kingdom. Nah, man. Nah, it's not happening like that, man. We have to be purified. We have to be tried through the fire, man. Okay? Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah already know who's going to uh, stand firm for him. You know? And that's why we, you know, myself, I can only speak for me, but myself, man, I always pray for that strength, man, to endure in the uh, hour of temptation, man. You know? Whatever Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has planned for me, I pray that he gives me the strength to endure, man. You know? Because, man, it's, it's going to come a, a time where these cave gorillas is really going to show their horns, man. It's really going to uh, bring forth that blessing. What, what is they blessing? That sword, man. Because they were created to, uh, to, to bring forth wickedness, destruction, and take away peace, peace from the earth, man. You know? And I pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah gives me that strength to endure whatever he brings my way, man. Okay? So let's keep on going. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. Salah. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7. And it reads this. 
I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And that's right, man. And you still seen that to this day, man. You know, but you really, you really truly saw it when we was in hardcore slavery, man. And now they, and now they've changed those horses that they were upon, and they, uh, uh, they, um, the government systems, they businesses, etc., man. They sit in high, high, uh, 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 high mountains, high hills, you know, which y'all should already know what the, uh, mountains and hills is, man. That's like a, a form, form of power, okay? And we, we're still um, princes walking on the earth, man, serving these people, man, you know. But they, they take, they've taken away the chains. Cause they've mentally destroyed our people, man. They physically take away, taken away the chains, and because they mentally destroyed our people, man. Okay, but that's what you're seeing, man. You're seeing the servants that's sitting on high places, and the princes of the earth, which is Yasharala, uh, serving these us, uh, 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 servants, man. You know, everything has been flipped, uh, 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 flipped backwards, man. And what is that? That's Deuteronomy 28, verse 44. You know, we we were, we were supposed to be the head, now we're the tail, man. You know, that's what that is, man. That's the curse, man. That's the curse, man. Just like that statue where you got, um, shit, whatever cave monkey it is, and you got Gad on one side and you got Jude on the other side, man. These people, man, they proud, man. They throw all this shit in your face, man. And especially in black history, man, they throw it right back in your face, man. But let's keep on going, man, because y'all Israelites, man, y'all love oppression, man. Y'all love oppression, man. But you know what's gonna happen though? Let's let's get the scripture for that. Let's get the scripture. Because we can go into that. We can go into Ecclesiast Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7, and break that down to a whole lesson, a whole hour upon lesson. But I'm just gonna pull out one scripture. Let's go to Ecclesiastes Kiss, chapter 10, and verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another, man. And that's what you're witnessing right now, man. Because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is taking this man's kingdom down, man. Okay, the murph of this place is gone, man. There's nothing, nothing is going to be the same in Babylon the Great, aka America, man. Nothing's going to be the same in this place, man. The murph is gone, man. Okay? Okay, the the the, the, the triple mask wearing, all that crap. It's, it's, it's just getting worse, man. It's getting worse and worse, man. Okay? It's getting worse, man. Ain't nothing getting better about this place, man. Why is that? Cause the, cause the hopeful elect, that remnant, that one third remnant, has come back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. We're singing that new sweet, beautiful song, and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is hearing it, and he's pleased, man. So he's pleased, and he's bringing those prophecies forth, man. Okay, those prophecies are popping off the book like popcorn, man. You know, and we, man, man, this is a, it's, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful, man. Let's keep on going. We ain't done. We only eight minutes in. Let's keep on going. All right, let's go to John. Because only only the hopeful elect is going to come back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and it's going to um, uh, uh, attempt to do this to the best of their ability, man. All right, this is... Uh, This is St. John chapter 14, verse 15, straight to the point. If ye love me, keep my commandments. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Now look, man, we're not, we're not uh, like IUIC, HOI, Watchmen for Israel. And yes, I said it. And I'm not sure I'm not showing no hatred saying y'all names. I'm just speaking facts. We're not like these camps that go push the law, the law, the law. Now we know that we have to practice the law, man. So what does that go back into? That goes back into Judges chapter five, verse 11, where we're, pra we're, we're practicing the righteous acts of the law, okay? But we're not gonna be justified off the law. If we were, if we were justified off the law, and a lot of you niggas is pushing that too, man. What you don't know, we can't keep the law a hundredfold, man, okay? If we were justified and, and, and judged alone off the law without faith and grace, and and and, I, and and without having the blood of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach on us, man, this whole the whole place will perish, man. It will perish, man. Okay, and that's why Yahweh set up His Son Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to cover His elect with His blood, man. So now we having that faith and grace, 
And yes, we have to practice the righteous acts. So what does that mean, man? Let's let this Bible talk. Salah. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. I got two. I got two I want to speak on that. Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 8, verse 5. This is the first one. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 5. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Man, that's right, man. So with us keeping these law, statutes, and commandments, man, that evil is being a, 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 a block from us, man. And we're able to discern from righteous and wickedness, man. Okay, so but what else does that mean, Toad? Let's, let's get to that. What else does that mean? Let's go to 1 John. All right, this is 1 John chapter 2, starting off at verse 3. So lock it. Let's let this uh, truck ride past real quick. All right, this is 1 John chapter 1. So like in 1 John chapter 2, starting off at verse 3, the point's going to be in verse 4. And here and hereby we do know and so like in 1 John chapter 2, starting off at verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So why is it saying that, man? You got you got Pastor Porkchop teaching his whole congregation that the, that the law is done away with, that you can do what you want, come as you are. You can, that you can eat a pork chop sandwich, shrimp crab lobster, go out here and commit a, a, adultery, go out here and put your hands on your brother, murder your brother, etc., man. That you can be wicked as hell, man. But yet the, 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 the scriptures uh, say otherwise, man. You know, we're going to go into uh, 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 the real prophets, man, what the real prophets do. And we're going to bring out a few scriptures on you uh, false uh, uh, prophets, man. You false uh, deacons, pastors, whatever you call yourself, man. If you ain't reading from the scriptures, man, you, you, you false, man. Point blank, period, man. We don't have no sympathy for you because you're niggas, man. Furthermore, you are niggas, man. You just out here for that um, 50 Lucas sake, man. And we out here to defend the gospel, man. We out here to tell Israel who they are, man. <clears throat> We're out here to literally warn and edify our people, man. And also to prophesy the downfall of this wicked queendom, man. Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, man. You know, y'all want a piece of this man's pie, man. The earth is, man, the earth is crying out. Just like we're crying out, the earth is crying out. The bugs is crying out. The damn bugs is crying out. The trees is crying out. The, the fowls of the heaven is crying out. The, the creatures in the sea is crying out. Everything is crying out to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, for redemption, man. To be saved out of the hands of this cave beast, man. But let's keep on going, man. Salaki. Like let's keep on going, man. Let's jump back to Ecclesiastes. It's just like I just said, man. You pastors and you deacons, whatever y'all call yourself, man, y'all just, man, y'all name, y'all name in heaven right now is, is doo doo, man. Y'all name is nothing to your by Shimmy how shout. So let's get a scripture on that. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse one. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. And that's right, man. Because in the day of death, man, you're going before the throne of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. You're going before the throne of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, man. So wouldn't you want to have a good name? Wouldn't you want to be uh, acknowledged as being obedient to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man? Okay, so instead of having, oh, you was out here doing this, you was out here doing that, and, and get condemned and get judged, and then your, your next life, you, you have a, a, a jacked up, uh, next life for your um, punishment playing out So it's better off to have a good name that's gonna lead you into death man Because when you when you when when your howl by Hashem Yahweh Shah calls your spirit back to him and he puts you to death man 
and you come before him, the fuck? Salaki, hold on. Damn, Joan messed up, man. But yeah, like I was saying, man, you want to have a good name, man, when you're hobble by shimmy, hobble shy, man. I don't know why the hell my phone's going dead, man. And I got the damn charger on it, man. Come on, man. Don't start this, man. Damn, man. The devil, man. The fucking devil, man. So like I was saying, man, you want to have a good name when, you, when you're uh, when you're before you how about shimmy, how shy, man. Okay? You want to be obedient to his words, man. Shit. All right, let's keep on going, man. Salak here. Oh, the fuck, my phone going dead, and I got a damn, I got a battery charger connected to my phone, and my phone going dead, man. The devil's fucking with me today, man. Man, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, man. Let this lesson, let this whole lesson get, get recorded, man. Baba Gushaw, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Baba Gushaw, Baba Gushaw, man. Goddamn devil, man. Let's 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 expound on the name, man. Let's go back to um, let's go to Ecclesiasticus real quick. Let's get some words out of there real quick about having a good name. Cause on, the only people that's gonna have a good good name right now is the hopeful elect, man. All right, so this is Ecclesiasticus chapter forty-four, starting off at verse thirteen, and it reads this: Their seed shall remain forever, and their glory shall not be blotted out. Their bodies are burned in peace. But their name liveth forevermore. The people will tell of their wisdom, and the congregation will show forth their praise, man. So that's self-explanatory, man. So it's, it's good to have a good name, man, because if you have a good name, when you come before Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, man, he's going to be pleased in which you, that you obeyed him. And then on top of you having a good name, the people that's, that remembered you is going to have your name, you know, being talked about forever, man. This is his wisdom, how he carried himself, this and that. He was godly. He was righteous. You're going to be made an example, man, just like Ezekiel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Yahawashai, Paul, Peter, King David, man, etc., man. Those, those are the real celebrities of the world, man. Man, David Banner, uh, Little Uzi Vert, Will Smith, them niggas ain't shit, man. Those are niggas, man. The real celebrities and the real uh, people you should be worshiping is, is the people in the Bible, man. That's it, man. That is it. Lock you, man. Piss me off, man. Like, again, come on, you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. How was my junk going dead and I got a fucking charger on my shit, man? Man, oh man. Fuck, man. Let's keep on going, man. Let's keep on going, man. Let's jump back. Let's jump to Jeremiah chapter 7. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 23 and it reads this but these things command I them saying obey my voice and I will be your power and ye shall be my people and walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you that it may be well unto you and that's right man and the only people that's doing that right now is the hopeful elect man it's the remnant that's coming back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai man point blank period man those are the only people out here doing that man fucking devil man fucking with me today man how in the fuck is my phone going dead when i literally have a battery charger plugged up to my phone man like what type of shit is this man damn man you fucking goddamn devil man man shalak i am man get the fuck out of here man I'm trying to stop the word man damn man pissing me off man let's go to first peter man I don't have to keep on looking up, looking up. Make sure my damn uh, phone's still going. All right, this is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And that's right, man. And the only people that's attempting to do this is the one-third remnant, man. The true sincere Aki am out here putting in this work day and night, man. Let's read that again because this is powerful. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, 
in the holy nation a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light man the hopeful elect man that remnant the 144,000 governing body man and I don't want right to say I'm part of that and you brothers are part of that man because we out here putting in the work man it's 25 below out this bitch right now man it's 25 below out here right now man but I'm warm why am I warm through the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Let's keep on going. Let's get it, Israel. Goddamn devil fucking with my phone, man. Let's go to Exodus chapter 19. So they don't know, man. They don't know, man. Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar, a peculiar, Oh, I'm excited, man. Salakia. Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, man. And who's obeying the voice, the voice of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah right now? The hopeful elect, man, that remnant, man. We're the only ones out here obeying the voice of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Everybody else is looking at us, looking at us, looking, looking at us like we crazy, man. Everybody else talking about we, we we're, we're we're preaching and teaching hate. No, we're teaching truth, man. We're reading the scriptures, man. Okay, we're breaking down the scriptures to you. When you go to the church, they, they read one scripture and they tap dance and break dance and, and ask for money fifteen times, man. But we're reading the scriptures to you, man. It don't make no sense, man. It's because y'all hate Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That's why, man. Y'all hate the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Let's go to 2 John, man. There's a lot of you niggas, man. Y'all gonna pay for this, man. Y'all gonna pay for everything that y'all done, man. All right, this is 2 John chapter 1, starting off at verse 9. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Hamashiach have not the Most High. He have abideth in the doctrine of Hamashiach. He have both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, <clears throat> if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed, for he hath bid it. Second John chapter 1, verse 11. For he that for he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his of his evil deeds. And that's right, man. And a lot of you niggas are doing that, man. You know, having these unity camps and all y'all have different beliefs and different doctrines. Y'all not y'all not one minded, man. You know, y'all not one minded, man. So y'all going off uh, your own vain opinions, man. You're supposed to uh, 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 be like minded, man, in the, in the doctrine, man. You're supposed to have one mind, man. You're not supposed to be, well, I believe the mark of the beast is this. I believe it's John 3.16. I believe it's philosophies or I believe it's the chip. No, man, the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip, man. Okay, but you're not supposed to be coming together, having unity camps. And furthermore, a prime example, uh, Sakari had a, a unity camp with a FOPE uh, and um, somebody else, man, they, and they got to fighting, man. Prime example right there, man. But nah, man, y'all niggas want to, y'all want to try to wake all Israel up. All Israel is not, not, not meant to be woken up, man. All Israel is not meant to be woken up, man. Salak you. But let's keep on going, man. Let's keep on going. Let's go to Ezekiel, man. Let's let's see what Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah said about you, uh, you wicked niggas that's out here telling lies and not out here speaking his words, man. Let's see what he said about you wicked niggas, man. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 13, starting off at verse 6, ending at 9, and it reads this: They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah saith, and Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh Shai have not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye, skate, whereas ye say, Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai saith, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Therefore, behold, I am against you, saith Yahweh power. And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. 
they shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written, Woo! neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh, your power. Now let me give you a little story, man, about that scripture, man. That scripture is a, a, a cold Mike Tyson knockout punch, man, okay? When I was with HOI, man, which you know, man, there's a let, there's um, some elect brothers in every camp, but the niggas I was with, cause they was niggas, man. They was carnal as hell. Uh, we had like a, a issue going on, and you know, the brothers was lying and saying this and saying that, and they're not, you know, uh, keeping their words on things. And I had, I had sent that scripture to the brothers, man. Them brothers wanted to fight me, man. <laughs> Them brothers wanted to fight me off of that scripture, man. Ezekiel uh, chapter 13, verses six to nine. That, that's, that, those scriptures right there is a cold Mike Tyson knockout, man. They wanted to fight me after I sent that, man. Cause like, look, man, if I, t if I say something, I'm going to do it. If I know I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to say it, man. And I'm not going to keep on saying it and keep on saying it and not do it, man. What is that? You're fucking lying, man. Okay. You're lying. Point blank period, man. So like, like Hebrews chapter four, verse 12 says, man, the most high's words pierce the spirit and soul, man. Point blank period, man. But let's keep on going, man. Let's keep on going, because we got a lot more scriptures. And Lord willing, man, you preserve my battery, Yahweh Yahushua. Let's go to Philippians. All right, this is Philippians chapter 1. We're going to read verses 15 to 17. Some indeed preach Hamashiach, even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preacheth Hamashiach of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bounds, but the other of love, knowing that I am sent for the de defense of the gospel. And that's right, man. And a lot of these Negroes, man, is out here just, just to do this for, uh, 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 you know, to, uh, to, to have a name, to be noticed, to, to get money, to, to seem wise, to, to, to gather women, to, to, to uplift women, to get more women, etc., man. But us true, sincere Akiyam, the hopeful elect that's out here doing this work, man. We're doing this work to glorify our Father, man. To, 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 preach and, to preach and teach the true doctrine of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai, to the hopeful elect, man. Okay? To edify and warn the sheep, man. Okay? To be blameless, to have salvation. Okay? Because we truly fear and love and 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 and, uh, and uh, are dedicated to our father, man, and our big brother, man. Okay, point blank, period, man. That's just what it is, man. You know. Well, let's keep on going. Let's go back to Jeremiah chapter twenty-three. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter twenty-three, verse fourteen. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers, that none doeth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom, and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Woo! Let's read that again. Jeremiah 23, verse 14. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers, that none doeth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom, and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Man, that's right, man. These man, these people out here, uh, uh, so-called preaching the word of the Heavenly Father, man, is teaching lies to you, man. All they doing is strengthening the hand of Esau Edom, man. They, they, they slave master, they, they slave daddy, man. They don't give a damn about you Jakes, man. 501c3 tax exempt oh uh, make sure you put in your tithes brother you, you don't put your tithes in for two other services they're gonna come and ask you hey, look brother man we noticed that you ain't been paying your tithes what's going on you know are, are, are we not chucking and driving enough for you to put in your tithes are we not making you feel good you know jake man a lot of you a lot of you uh, uh you, you uh 501c3 is israelite camps man and you uh Past the pork chops, man. A lot of y'all, man, got got a lot to uh, answer to, man. Point blank, period, man. A lot of you niggas are wicked, man. 
A lot of y'all are wicked, man. Point blank, period, man. Y'all are wicked as hell, man. And you how about shit, y'all shot going to deal with y'all, man. Let's keep on going. Let's go to Revelation. All right, this is Revelation chapter 2, verse 2. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how that and how thou canst not bear bear them which are evil. Revelation chapter 2, verse 2. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear with them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and hast found them liars. And that's right, man. Man, we do that thoroughly, man. We do that thoroughly, man. All you, just like I, just like I said prior, man. A couple lessons back, man. You got all these these uh reprobate, bugged out two third niggas, man. That 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 come together, have different doctrines, call on different names, but the only thing they agree on is that they hate GMS and the like minded brothers, man. That's the only thing they agree on, man. You know, and a lot of these niggas, man, they, they call themselves uh, men of the Lord. Like it says, apostle just means sent away, man. So a lot of these niggas, man, that they call themselves uh, teaching the truth, man, is, is false, man. And we vex, man, because, you know, we know that at the end of the day, it's um, of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shaka. Somebody has to deceive the two-thirds. Somebody has to lead the two-thirds to, to their destruction, man. We know that, man, but it's still vexing, man, to deal with these niggas, man, you know? But when we come, when we come in, when we, when we encounter, encounter them for the first time, I'm excited, man. Forgive me, man. I'm excited and pissed off, man, about my phone right now. But when we encounter these fake prophets, these fake apostles, as they call themselves, we, we, we mark them for the first time and we leave them alone, man. We mark them for the first time and we leave them alone, man. That's it, man. Ain't no, ain't no need to go knee deep in with these damn demons, man. You know? Because we still have to edify the elect, man. We have to warn the elect. We have to bring the information and in, uh, uh, measure the times, man. Uh, uh, Second Ezra chapter 9, man. We have a job to do, man. Okay, so we're not gonna take all our time going back and forth with you damn reprobates, man. You know, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah put y'all up for a certain reason, and Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah gonna deal with y'all when, when it's when it's when it's time when it when it's time for him to deal with y'all. All right, let's go to Isaiah 48. Isaiah 48. Salah. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17. Thus saith Yahweh, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am Yahweh, thy power, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go, man. So everything that we learn, everything that's been taught to us, has been taught to us uh, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And how does he do that, man? Let's let the scriptures talk. Let's go to... um. Let's go to uh, St. John chapter 14. And I'm going to read two out of St. John chapter 14. I'm going to read two. I'm going to read two scriptures. All right, this is St. John chapter 14. We're going to read verse 17. And then we're going to jump down to verse 26. All right, St. John chapter 14, verse 17 first. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Verse 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you, man. So Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai teaches us through the Holy Spirit, man. Everything is being revealed to us through the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is not gonna come down here literally off his throne and sit down with you. Say, you ready for let you ready for class? All right, get your get your notebooks out. I'm about to teach you. Nah, man. He brings the spirit down on us and he puts the spirit on us, and the spirit teaches us, man point blank period man that's just what it is man you know but let's keep on going man damn battery got me worried man 
All right, let's go to Isaiah. Let's go back to Isaiah, because this, this is what the hopeful elect do, man, continuously, man. This is Isaiah 62, starting off at verse 6. I have set, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. Okay? So we out here speaking the words of the Heavenly Father continually, man. Day and night, man. We're not giving him no rest until our kingdom is established, man. Let's read that again. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. Okay? So we're not, we not giving up, man. We're not giving up until uh, our, our father and our br big brother's name is exalted on the whole earth until Jerusalem is exalted too, man. Until our kingdom is established, man. You know, when Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai calls you to, to be a prophet, a teacher, man. That's your job until you die, man. Not until, oh, I feel like I did enough. I'm 45 years old. Now I'm done. No, until you die, my nigga. Okay? Until you die, man. All the prophets did the work until they died, man. Okay? And that furthermore shows, man, you got niggas out here doing lessons once every two weeks, once a month, once every two months, and have the fucking nerve to say they men of the Lord, man. You fucking reprobate niggas, man. I fucking hate, man. I hate you two-third niggas, man. Yeah, we family by blood, but by the spirit, we're not, man. I'll love you in the kingdom, right? I'll love you in the kingdom, but right now, I can't stand you motherfuckers, man. Y'all get on my nerve, man. Just stay the fuck away from me, man. As a matter of fact, man, I had, I had a, a fucking, a, oh, man, a nigga, man. A fucking nigga, man. A fucking nigga, man. I had put um, a comment on, um, on the, um, the beloved Elder Apostle Gabar's uh, a, a video that he had made, and I put scriptures. I, I didn't put a capital S, and a fucking reprobate gonna say, I disagree. It's scriptures with a capital S. I said, man, I, I said, man, I wanna cuss, I wanna strangle this motherfucker, man. But I said, you know what, man? I ain't, I'm not even gonna acknowledge that bullshit. I'm not even gonna acknowledge it, but it pissed me off, man. It literally pissed me the fuck off, man. I, I disagree. It's not scriptures with a low with a low with a low S. It's scriptures with the with the capital S. And I'm looking like, what did I spell it wrong? Like, man, this motherfucker, man, where's your lessons? Page dry as shit. Where's your lessons? Where's your edification since you since you coming to correct me, nigga? Where's your left your edification for the flock, man? Shut the fuck up and mind your business, man. Stay off my comments, you reprobates, man. Damn, man. I'm tired of you niggas, man. Oh man, I'm so tired of you niggas, man. <sighs> Let's go to Philippians, man. Because the real men of the Lord is going to be doing this, man. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So we're supposed to be keep on doing this work, man. You ain't, you're not going to do this work for two years, five years, ten years, and then stop. I'm like, oh, that's enough. I, I feel my plate. My plate is good. No. <laughs> no, you're turning, you're turning from, uh, from, uh, from being righteous, going right back to being wicked, man. You niggas, man. I tell you, man. You niggas, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go to Ezekiel, man. You niggas are something else, man. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me, man. So we have a job. This is our job, man. This is your first job, man. Yeah, we have to survive. We have to pay bills. We have to feed ourselves, take care of our kids, clothe ourselves, uh, get back and forth to work. You know what I'm saying? We have to live. We have to survive in society, man. We know that. But this is your main job. This is the job that you, that you should really be focused on. This is the job that you should have passion about, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. Because, you know, at the end of the day, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah controls all, man. If we're not pleasing Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, who are you pleasing then? I hope you ain't trying to please yourself or, or your slave master. Because your slave master can't do shit for you. Only Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah can, man. Salakia. Salakia. Let me let it with my answers real quick. Salakia. 
Uh, give me one second, Salakia. We still on? Yes, man, man. Call Allah, call Allah, I'm Allah. I've been out with you, how about Shim Yahawashai? Call Allah, I'm Allah. I've been out with you, how about Shim Yahawashai? Thank you, Yahawah. Keep the camera rolling, man. Thank you. Let me let me bring out all these scriptures, man. Let me bring them all out, Yahawah, about Shim Yahawashai. Let's go to Titus. Let's keep on going, man. Let's keep on going. Let's go to Titus. Chapter 3. Is that what I want? Let me make sure. Con. Titus chapter 3. Verse 8, this is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou all, Slaki, I'm excited, <clears throat> Titus chapter 3, verse 8 again, this is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in the Most High might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. And that's right, man. And the only ones, I'm, man, I sound like a broken record, but the only ones that's going to maintain good works and that's going to be obedient to the voice of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is the hopeful elect, man. Is the true, sincere Akiyam out here putting work day and night, man. Okay? Out here putting their bodies up as a living sacrifice, man. Not your fucking computer, man. Not behind a computer screen talking shit, laughing and shit at the, at the true men of the Lord talking shit behind a damn uh, computer screen, man. You niggas won't even show your face on, on, on a damn uh, a YouTube lesson, man. You don't, you don't even want to show your face while you sitting on the couch in, in the comfort of your own home. Don't even want to go out to the highways and the Bible is talking about that's to be seen of men. What, what the fuck are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? That's to be seen of men. Did your Howard shot have a computer? I, 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 must, I must be bugged out of something. I'm a, did they, did, they, did they teach about computers back then? Or was they on the streets, man? Was they on the streets? Man. Man, oh man. Let's keep on going, man. So a lot. Let's go to Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 and I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding that's right man so yeah the the, the, the true sincere Akiyam that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai gave you man is going to feed you that, that truth man that 144 percent truth man okay because our doctrine is not ours man it's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's man okay and the pastors and, and teachers that he that he gives you is going to speak his words man Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that, man. Call Halayim Law. Al Banawa Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is John chapter 7. St. John chapter 7, starting off at verse 6, 16. Yahweh Shai answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of the Most High or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself, seek of his own glory but he that seek of his glory that sent him the same is true and no unrighteousness is in him okay so 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 those pastors john uh so like jeremiah 3 and 15 those uh pastors teachers apostles etc that yahweh Hashem yahweh is going to send you it's going to teach and preach his doctrine man not theirs they're not seeking their glory they're seeking the glory they're seeking to glorify their father man okay Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, man. They're speaking the words of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. They're doing the same thing that Yahweh Shai did, man. Yahweh Shai left the work to be done by us, man. And we got to fulfill our lot, man. We have to fulfill our lot, man. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba Yahweh Shai gave us a, a, us a position to fill, and we have to fill it, man. Okay? So, so we endure and suffer everything for the elect's sake, man. To prophesy, to warn, to edify. To condemn, to read these fucking heathens and these cave monkeys, aka these Edomites, they arrest warrant, man. And we do it thoroughly, man. 
the true sincere Aki and we do it thoroughly man you know excuse my language but, but it's like taking a piss man excuse my language but I gotta say it man it's like taking a piss man that's how thoroughly we do it man Salakia this is our first love man this is our first love right here man this is our woman right here man this is our woman right here. I, I, I was man, I was having dreams about doing lessons last night, man. That's how much I'm in love with this, man. I was making love to the scriptures, man. I can't live without this, man. Let's keep on going. Let's get something on you, you false pastors, man. Let's go to Ezekiel 22 real quick. We can read this whole chapter, but I'm just going to pull something out real quick. Ezekiel chapter 22, verses 26 to 27. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profane among them. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, raving, raving the prey. Ravening, so like her, her, her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. Man, that's a, that's, man, that's, that's a ISUPK, IUIC, GOCC, the, uh, the, the pass the pork chops, all of them, man. And the most high is going to deal with you niggas, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all not, y'all not, y'all not men of the Lord, man. Y'all not about Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. The Most High is going to deal with y'all, man. The Most High has a, uh, uh, <laughs> the Most High, man. Look, man. I can only imagine. I can only imagine what he's gonna do to y'all, man. What he has planned for y'all, man. <laughs> Let's keep him on going, man. Let's go to Matthew 15, cause this is what y'all do, man. This is what y'all do. This is Matthew chapter 15, starting off at verse 8. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines. Now in John chapter 7, verses 16 to 18, it said doctrine, not doctrines, it said doctrine. So this is uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 9 again. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Y'all not teaching the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And why is that? Because y'all hate. Y'all despise. Y'all thoroughly speak evil against Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Y'all hate the words. Y'all hate order. Y'all hate the laws, man. You got, man, the, the cave gorilla, the so-called white man, the Edomites, they understand that rape is in the Bible, but you niggas are so soft and so effeminate and so westernized that y'all can't see it. I literally had to go in, <laughs> to go into the blue letter Bible and go into each version of the, of the scriptures to show you that rape is in the Bible, man. And you motherfuckers better stop calling a, a brother's rapist, man. Because y'all bearing, bearing false witness, man. Where, where is the documentation to show any brother raping kids or little girls, as y'all say? Where is the documentation, man? Because you all, you got these motherfuckers that always want to pull out uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21, prove all things. Prove it, my nigga. Stop running your fucking mouth because you effeminate and you don't understand the scriptures. Prove it, my nigga. Bring the paperwork. Because every time we bring the paperwork, what is that paperwork? Right here. You niggas... <laughs> You niggas are jealous, man, because y'all don't have the spirit, man. Let's go to Titus, man. Let's go to Titus real quick. You niggas are jealous because y'all don't have the spirit, man. Titus chapter 1, verse 16. They profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate, man. And that's right, man. That's right, that's right, man. Y'all deny Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I saw a lot of brothers, man. And like, let me let me say this first before I say this, man. I know a lot of brothers is not going to be prophets and going to be out here in the highways and the byways out here teaching and edifying. I know that, man. I understand that. But if you if you know the Bible, you can still be doing sit-downs on YouTube 
edifying that way. And if you if you don't feel if you don't feel educated enough to do that, you can be uploading other brothers' videos on your page, man. You can be you can be doing something to to, to further the body, man, to edify the Israel, man, to to to, to do your part, man. You know? Cause you got niggas out here that literally, you know, say they know the Bible and this and that, and then go against talking about you ain't gotta go out to the highways and the hedges. I don't have to teach. All I have to do is know I'm an Israelite and that's it. So y'all, y'all, y'all deny the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, and y'all are disobedient to him, man. Y'all all y'all 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 are an abomination to him, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. Y'all an abomination to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, man. And you think you think we really gonna sit right here and go back and forth with you reprobates and y'all don't even go out to the highways and the hedges? Y'all don't even edify on YouTube? Y'all ain't doing nothing to feed the sheep, man. But only thing, only thing y'all think y'all doing is it's talking about we exposing GMS, we exposing the like-minded brothers. We doing this, we doing that. No, what you're actually doing is you're actually uh making your how about shim how shot justified putting you niggas to death, man. That's all you're doing, man, because you're going against his men that's being obedient to him, man. And Lord willing, I'm one of them. Just, let's expand on that more, man. Let's go to Mark, man. You know, we, we can go to the Old Testament, but I want to keep it in the New Testament right now real quick. So let's go to Mark real quick. Uh, Mark chapter 8, I believe. Yep, Mark chapter 8, verse 38. Mark chapter 8, verse 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels Woo! man oh man let's read that because y'all ashamed of y'all about shame y'all let's read that again mark chapter 8 verse 38 whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels man and how are y'all ashamed of of, of yahweh by hashem yahweh shot yahweh by yahweh shot y'all don't y'all don't y'all ashamed that that rape is in the bible y'all ashamed that when, when a woman has the flower when a when a female has a flower has her flower which is her, her cycle Let's say it like that. She's a woman. She's at the legal age to be married. And, and amongst other things too, man. Y'all don't understand the scriptures, man. But we like, 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 like the elder and the elder apostle say, we're not going to keep on going back and forth. We've already established it. It's done. It's over with. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai has the records in heaven, man. And y'all y'all ashamed of, of the laws and the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Point blank period, man. Point blank period, man. Let's keep on going. Y'all ashamed of the Heavenly Father. Let's go to Deuteronomy real quick. Because Moses told us something when we was in the wilderness, man. And we and, 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 and Israel being so hard-headed and stiff-necked didn't even realize this, man. This is Deuteronomy chapter 18. And I'm going to read verse 15. Then we're going to jump down to verses 18 and 19. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15. Yahweh thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet from among thee of thy brethren like unto me unto him ye shall hearken so when we was in the wilderness kept coming out of Egypt Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh told us he's going to give us a prophet among our brethren the same thing as he did like with, with Moses man the same thing as he did with Moses Moses was our brethren and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh spoke through Moses Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai spoke face to face with Moses. And we and we took heed to Moses. So how come you niggas didn't take heed to Yahweh Shai, man? Because you niggas are fucking wicked, man. Verse 18. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. Just like he did Moses. Just like he did Isaac. Uh, so like, um, Isaiah. Ezekiel. Need I say more? I will raise... I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee and will put my words in his mouth John chapter 7 verses 16 and 18 I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I command him and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words he shall speak in my name 
And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it. And what does that require it? Your blood, your spirit. Because you're being disobedient to, uh, to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> Albert Nabu, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly justified in putting two thirds of our people to death, man. Thoroughly, man. Point blank, period, man. Point blank, period, man. It's starting. But we almost done. We almost done. Let's keep on going. Let's jump to Acts. Let's jump to Acts. Because they said it, they said it in Acts uh, 2. They uh they they respoken in Acts. Acts. Acts chapter 3, uh, verse 22. Starting off at verse 22 and then at 23. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall Yahweh your power raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever. Salaki. Let me read it again. I butchered it. Acts chapter 3 verse 22. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall Yahweh your power raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. He sh him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you, and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among my people. So that, that's, that's what he mean by his, I require it. He's going to destroy you niggas, man. He's going to destroy you, my nigga. He's going to destroy you. Okay? Point blank period, man. What do y'all niggas not get, man? But let's keep on going, man. Let's keep on going. Because we only got a few more left. And then we're going to close it on out. And so why do Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah for keeping it going, man? Because Yahweh Shah was talked about in the old in the uh in the old testament, man. All through the old testament, man. We can go on that for days, man. But let's pull this out. Let's pull this out. Jeremiah 23, starting off at verse 5. Behold, the days come, say if Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, that I will raise up. So like it, behold, the days come, say if Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And in his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And his name and his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that they shall no more say, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai liveth, who brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but out of the land, but but Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai liveth, which brought up the which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries whether I had driven them and they shall dwell safely in their own land man so he basically gave you he basically revealed to Jeremiah in the Old Testament that Yahweh is going to come save his people out of Babylon the north country man point blank period man okay and that hit that's talking about because he came what 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 branch did Yahweh Shah come out of? David, man. Out of the house of David, man. Solomon. <laughs> come on, man. He, he was uh, he was David's son, man. He, he was King Solomon, man. But you know, y'all can't get that, man. You niggas can't, y'all don't have the spirit to get this, man. Y'all don't have the spirit to get this, man. And what are we what are we building up right now? The house of David, man. What did Yahweh, what did Alpha Nawa Yahweh promise to David? That his seed will rule forever. <laughs> Come on, man. You niggas, man, you niggas don't have the spirit, man. You niggas don't have it, man. Let's go to uh <laughs> let's let's expound on that. Cause he said he also said in the in, in the um he also said it in the in the apocrypha, man. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus chapter 10. Ecclesiasticus chapter 10, starting off at verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, 
such are all they that dwell therein. An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Here, here goes the point. The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. And who was that? That's Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. That's Yahweh Shai Hamashiach who's going to be set up to rule, man. Who's going to reestablish righteousness on the earth, man? Who's going to cleanse the earth, man? Okay? Point blank period, man. And and the only true sincere brothers that's going to be with him is the hopeful elect, man. The ones that Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah set up that's out here edifying day and night, man. That's out here, you know, not giving Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah's name no rest, man. That's out here confessing and standing firm and being bold as a lion in our captivity, man. You niggas don't have it, man. Hiding behind a damn computer in the comfort of your own home, talking shit. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 13. Salah. Because we don't we don't have we don't have a place to call our own right now. So what so what does that mean? Let's let these scriptures talk. Hebrews chapter 13, starting off at verse 14 and then at 15. For here, for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the Most High continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. What did I just say, man? Our lips is not being, our lips is not shutting up about praising Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, about exalting him, about here, out here teaching, prophesying, edifying, warning Israel, man. We're doing our job, man. Let's keep on going. Uh, I got another one in Hebrews. I want to read uh, chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly, wherefore the Most High is not ashamed to be called their power. For he hath, for he hath prepared for them a city, man. And it's already it's already being manifested right now, man. It's already being manifested right now, man. But when Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai sends his son, our big brother, our king, our Messiah, and crack that sky, it's confirmed, man. It's all it's it's a wrap at that point. It's a wrap. But let's keep on going, man. Let's go to Daniel. Cause what's gonna happen when Yahweh Shai comes, man? Let's read that. This is Daniel chapter seven, verse fourteen. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed, man. So the, the, the kingdom is not going to be destroyed, man. And, and with him, with, with the Hawashah establishing that, what does that mean for us? Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and forever. So let's jump to Romans real quick. Let's jump to Romans real quick and let's expound on that. What does that mean? What does that mean? This is Romans chapter 8, verse 17. And if the children then heirs, heirs of the, the Most High and joint heirs with Hamashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Let's read that again. Romans 8 verse 17. And if children then heirs, heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Hamashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Because we're suffering right now with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. We're going to drink that same cup that he had to drink, man. We're going to be tried through the fire just like Yahweh Shah Hamashiach was, man. Okay? Let's get this last scripture and then we're going to close it out. Let's go to Revelation 21 because this is going to be the, this is going to be the outcome, man. Yahweh Ba Hashim Yahweh Shah is going to do this for us, man. Alright, this is this is Revelation chapter 21 starting off at verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth was passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, 
coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be, they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them, and be their power. And the Most High shall wipe away all their tears, Salaki, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write for these things. And he said unto me, Write for these words are true and faithful, man. So we're going to be glorified, man. There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth, man. A new kingdom and a new rulership, man. And who is that going to be? Yahweh Shai, the 12 disciples, the 144,000 governing body, man. Okay? Yasharala. We're going to rule forever, man. We're going to rule forever. So we patiently waiting for that day, man. So let's go ahead and close it on out. Let's go ahead and close it on out here. Let's go to Psalms. Damn, damn it's cold as hell, man. All right, this is Psalms 51, starting off at verse 9. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and renew a spirit, a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, starting off at verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So there you have it, man. That's it, man. Out here, another day, man. Uh, Edifying the hopeful let warning and condemning this wicked queen of man. And I'm out of wine right to side. I pray and I hope that you were edified off of this beautiful lesson that I put together for the hopeful elect. And out of wine right to side. This uplifts your faith, your hope, your belief, your trust, and most of all, your fear in the Heavenly Father, Albanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So, Israel, with that, with that, I'm just going to say, Kohalayim La, Abnawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rakakardash, Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, Wa Aba Babal, Aba Babal, we almost out this bitch. Shalom.